So hello, hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Lavella. We are continuing our single player Let's Play. This is Minecraft Java Edition 116.1. The 116 update is recent. As of the date that I'm recording this, it is exactly one week old. So yeah, that's pretty recent. I want to apologize. The last episode was 45 minutes long. And it wouldn't have been so bad if we were doing something exciting, but we weren't. It was just me running my mouth. As well as Knight would say, it was a talky episode. But we are back. I want to finish. Yeah, we might need some more sand. Let's go ahead and grab that back. I want to finish our farm. I used up all my torch. All my. I thought I made several hoes. Mm, yeah, that should be enough. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and use iron for this. Okay, we have we need the melons and the pumpkins. Okay, let's do that. ahead and till this ground even though I don't really have anything to put here yet because we're still multiplying crops and yes I could cover these irrigation first of all you don't need an irrigation canal all you need is one block water source, just one block, and it goes four out that way, four out every direction, and then you can just square it off. And I believe, I want to say it becomes a nine by nine. It's been a minute since I actually counted it out. Ah, oh, I got to sleep already. But I like the irrigations. I like the I like the irrigation canals. And yes, I know it's a lot prettier if you kind of scatter your crops around here and there and yawn. And at some point we will probably do that as well. But this is meant to be a main source of crops that we can use for our food for ourselves, for our livestock and for trading with villagers. It's awfully dark over there in those puppies. It's a lot of darkness. In case you're wondering, this is 64 blocks long. I don't normally do them that way. My basic farm design, I do 16, because that's a fourth of the stack. And by the time you harvest everything, you can get a stack pretty easy. But this is our world spawn. And this is the way the terrain worked out, so I just did it a one long strip. And that was the wrong button. Okay, so now.
Okay, and some of you will be going, oh my gosh, why are you doing your melons that way and your pumpkins that way? The reason is, if you are new to Minecraft, and you place either a melon or a pumpkin seed, a gourd, it's in the gourd family, your stem will grow. It'll take several days for the stem to grow. Once the stem gets to maturity, it will start producing. Once it starts producing, it has to have at least one dirt block to choose from. So, it can grow any direction as long as it can be attached to the stem. So, if this was dirt, it could go here, 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 or here. The water just gives it one less to choose from. It can still grow here, here. It might even be able to grow at an angle. I can't remember. I don't pay that much attention. It can grow here and smother this vine and break it so that you have to replant it. But I plant this way because when they're all grown, I just take my axe and I just go zoom, 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 all the way down the row, and I can collect all the pumpkins and melons just by doing this. I don't have to wander around and, and pick at this and pick at that because they're in a, in a four square or whatever. <coughs> sometimes it will break the vine and sometimes you will have to replant it. But in my personal opinion, my personal opinion, it is still more time efficient to do it this way and replant once in a while one vine than to do the little four square thing. So that's me. That's why I do it this way. Again, I don't know all the technical stuff of Minecraft. I don't know what is the most efficient. Obviously, an AFK farm is more efficient, but I don't do redstone. We've had this conversation. So that's what works for me. Um, let's go ahead and get our carrots. It looks like they're ready. No, that one wasn't. If you're wondering why I'm doing it in a checkerboard pattern, at one time, this would make your crops grow faster. When I'm first starting a farm, I do this because I care about how fast it grows, because the faster it grows, the faster I can get it to multiply, the more crops I have to work with. However, now I'm going to go back and just fill that in. Because by the time this is ready, we'll have enough for a whole row. So, the wheat, the same thing. Potatoes are the same thing. Uh, yeah, no, these aren't quite ready. We'll wait on those. Alright, back in the old days. Well, still did it. <laughs> I was going to say, if you jumped on farmland, it would kill the farmland and turn it back to dirt. It's better now than it used to be because animals would come stand in here and smother it and, oh my gosh, in the beginning of Minecraft, it was, oh, it was a nightmare. Just having a simple wheat farm could be a nightmare if you had a lot of random livestock running around and that doesn't include the mobs and the aggressive mobs and everything okay so we have our melons oh, we still need beetroot seeds let's go ahead and get our sugar cane and I will not be harvesting on camera all of the time we're just getting it started Nope. And 
if you are using sugar cane or bamboo or vines and you are using them for decoration and not for farming if you want this one to be one block high and this one to be three blocks high and that one to be two blocks high put a piece of string on top of it the three one you don't have to worry about because the only time I have ever seen sugar cane grow four high is when it's generated by the game. Once you break it and replant, it seems to change that. So, if you want it stunted at one or two blocks, then put a piece of string on top of it and it won't grow any higher. That works with the, it works putting it under the vines or on top of bamboo as well because bamboo will grow quite tall. even when you're the one who planted it. Speaking of which, I'm going to need berries. I'm going to need to do a cactus. I'm going to need to do cocoa beans. I believe oh, that is all. Where's the jungle? Um, I don't know how much of this we're going to need. And of course, there are a lot of ways to decorate this stuff. Uh, one of my favorites is using leaf blocks to section out the different crops and tree farm and all that kind of stuff. But for right now, for this, we're not going to mess with that. the berries. Okay, let's go. You don't need farm farmland for the berries. It goes straight on the grass. Okay. Those will grow more berries and we'll take them out and then we'll plant more berries and blah 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 they go pretty quick as you can see uh, bamboo yeah we'll just do one okay you want to leave yourself a little bit of space with the berries because they do damage well I said they do. Maybe they have to have berries on them to do damage. Oh, there we go. It takes a while for them to do enough damage to matter. But if you're not paying attention, <laughs> or if you're Skizzle Man, <laughs> he was an amazing YouTuber, by the way. You should check him out. He's not a hermit, but he's a real life friend of one of the hermits impulse and they have they have a channel together called impulse and imp and skiz and it's fantastic you should check out they have um i don't know if he's moved all the old naked and scared series over to that channel yet or not it may still be on impulse's channel but skiz is also doing his own let's play but anyway they did a naked and scared episode and uh Skiz was not a Minecraft expert before he started all this. But anyway, he was standing in berries and he was near a, a shoreline and he couldn't figure out why he was taking damage so he just assumed that a drown was throwing a trident at him. <laughs> and he actually died in the berries <laughs> while he was standing there trying to figure out what was getting him. <laughs> so it's a thing. Most... Uh, at least once on a stream it seems like when he's streaming at least one person will make one comment about beware the berries I got him one time and oh my gosh I laughed so hard it was so funny anyway <laughs> anyway anyway okay so alright so we need sand for the cactus 
you want your cactus to be somewhere far enough away from what you're harvesting because let's say I put the cactus right up next to this bamboo and then I go to harvest the bamboo well you know how stuff just flies everywhere if something is thrown at a cactus it will be destroyed the cactus will eat it so you don't want the good stuff down here right on top of the cactus we're gonna do this we're gonna start with a five by five well I said that and then I went too far Cactus has to be on sand, whether it's white sand or red sand, it doesn't matter as long as it's on the sand. All right, let's um, and if you look on YouTube, you're probably going to find. Uh, tutorials on how to do automatic farms for all of this. Let's do, let's see. Yeah, let's do one more row. And of course, when you're harvesting your cactus, if it pops off and hits another cactus again, it's going to be destroyed. And you have to have one block minimum in between because of the thorns. The thorns kind of leak over. So, yeah. All right, now. Cocoa beans have to be put on jungle logs. And at some point I will either put string or slabs or carpet or something up here to prevent mobs. For now we'll just go with torches. And... That started okay so I believe as far as prior to the 116 I think all we need now is stuff to grow the um, oh, what do you call it it's that fruit you get from the end oh Okay, well, my brain just stopped working. But it's on the great big purple plants. Chorus fruit. I think chorus fruit is all we're missing besides beets. And then, of course, I have no idea about all the nether stuff. We'll have to figure that out later. But, once we get this really going, it will be an excellent source of food like I said, for ourselves, for our livestock, for um, training with villagers. So. We 
too. I'm just going to let all that stuff ripen for a while. Okay. Now, previously, before I went off and died and lost all my stuff, I did a little bit of work on the house off camera. What is this? thought my phone was doing weird things. Put these stairs here. I used, oh, I meant to grab ladders. That's what I was going to do. I, I made slabs out of andesite for the floor. I was just going to use cobble slabs. I was like, eh, I think this looks nicer. So, And it's giving me notices. Okay. So anyway, I couldn't figure out. I was like, okay, so we have this room. What are we going to do with it? I think we're going to make it a storage room. It's not going to be a huge, massive storage room like I would really like to have in wherever we live permanently. If we decide to live here permanently, then we can always dig down and make it bigger. But for now, we're just going to go with that. Here. Let's do we need two ladders and we need doors. my doors to open to the inside like they do in the real world. A lot of people like them backwards because they like for this this indention here to be on the other side and that's fine but for me I choose this. Okay and at some point we need some kind of a patio or flower garden probably with a path something to pretty that up but before we start landscaping I would like to finish the house hmm not sure I like how that looks but we could put the stairs here and cover that up That we could do. That we could do. Alright. Well, there's the timer. And we need to sleep. Make it all daytime. Alright. So enough dilly-dallying around. We have the crops. We have sand. So no more <coughs> side trips for a while. Hopefully. Next thing I would like to do in the next episode is I would like to work on the house. If possible, I would like to finish it. At least the structure. 
then we can come back and do the landscaping around it and blah 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 but I would really like to finish the structure of the house next episode if that is at all possible Hopefully, I will not get distracted with anything else until it's finished. I want to get these chests moved in, and I, that I may do off camera. I may go ahead and set up the uh, storage room off camera. We shall see. I may do it on camera and just move this stuff off camera. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Depends on how much sleep I've had. <laughs> Oh, and we're not finished with the crops. We have to get the lighting fixed. We're not going to do it this episode, but we need to construct something, even if it's just fence posts with torches, to get some light, because there's not enough light here. One thing that I will be doing... I prefer to use glowstone, but until we get to the nether, once these pumpkins start growing, we'll turn them into jack-o'-lanterns, and we will be tucking them every so often along these canals, or irrigation trenches, whatever you call them, so that there will be, let me help you with that, so there will be some uh, light coming up from the water, but we need to, um, we need some light. It's less of an issue because I do sleep through the night 99% of the time. So we have the sunlight. But we do need, because there will be times when I'm underground mining, so we need some kind of a light source for when it is nighttime. Oh, stop it. I'll have to play with some ideas on that. Let's see how I want to do that. I've done greenhouses before. And they were okay, but they never turn out the way I want them to. And I do mean never. I've never had a picture of a greenhouse in my head and been able to get it to look that way in Minecraft. I've had other things that I've done that I've liked, but I've done them that way so many times because I did like it and it, was, it worked. I kind of am tired of doing it that way. But if I can't come up with something else, we'll just go back to the to the formula that we know works. Until I can come up with some other idea. Anyway, that's that. Thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I really do appreciate it. I know I say it all the time. It's because I mean it every time. It's not just some memorized outro. It's genuine. I really do appreciate it. Thank you again, and we will see you later.